Kagan 9's Andrew Christensen is at the Deconcini Port of Entry in Nogales, Arizona tonight. And Andrew, what's it look like there at this hour? Well, definitely not a lot of traffic, Ryan. There's no traffic whatsoever, actually. There's a few cars in line right now, but even 10 minutes ago, I was noticing only about three to four cars in each line. They were getting through the port within minutes, but you can use the CBP-1 app. It's this app right here to tell you how long it's going to take you to get through the port. Now, it does say an hour, but what I was noticing is those cars were getting through within minutes. But we did get to speak to Jaime Chamberlain. He's the chairman of the Nogales Santa Cruz Port Authority, and he says a lot of customs officers have already been taken away from inspections to help process people hoping to get asylum. He tells us closing off the Lukeville port is going to lead to longer lines at the Nogales ports. Now, this could affect people living in Nogales. So I spoke with a woman who lives here. She tells me crossing over to Nogales, Mexico has already been taking longer. It's already pretty um, long lines as it is with that not even being in place yet. So it sucks. I I cross pretty frequent, but because the lines have been so long lately, I try not to as much as I can. And U.S. Customs and Border Protection says the Tucson area, including here in Nogales, is already seeing the highest number of migrants coming into the country from October of last year to October of this year, seeing about a 140 percent jump with more than 33,000 migrants this year. Now, Chamberlain says that he has been told that they're going to open as many lanes as possible here. So that way, when they do close the port in Lukeville, there's not a lot of traffic. Reporting in Nogales, Andrew Christensen. Kegan 9.